how has your, your pre-season gone, James? Obviously, we've seen you play in the centre-back a lot. How just come up with the kind of months so far? Yeah, I think it's been really good. Um, you know, it's been nice for me to be with the team fr from the start and, you know, not coming midway through the year. So that's been nice. And, you know, I think for myself and, and the whole team, it's nice to to have a full preseason with the with the coaching staff. Um, you know, their ideas, you know, how they want to play. It's, you know, easier to implement that over uh, over preseason. So uh, I think I've, I've really enjoyed it so far. What was it like? Obviously, the past six months to settle in, mm -hmm. came into the club. Obviously, quite a crazy season. Yeah. Did you feel a lot more settled after the summer and ready to really get on the season? Yeah, definitely. And I, I didn't really have a proper off season, you know, coming off the back of you know my MLS season. So, you know, it was nice to have some time away. And you know, I'm feeling you know refreshed about the season, and you know, just looking to uh, tackle it head on. And what about the position? Obviously, we've seen you play in central mm -hmm. field. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I've always kind of bounced around between positions and, you know, I, I wouldn't really say I have a preference, um, but obviously this is a very talented team and, and to break into it, you have to be a little bit flexible about where you play. So, um, you know, whether that's center back or, or center midfield, you know, I'm, I'm ready to do both. Uh, I think it's just to, you know, get on the field more consistently. Um, you know, as I said, it, it's a really talented group, but, you know, I think I'm more than capable of, of having a bigger impact. Um, and I think I can use the experiences that I had in the in my first six months, you know, like playing in Europa League, um, playing in some of the big league games. I can use that to, uh, you know, help me uh, develop and get better for the rest of the season. Uh, I think, you know, a big reason why I came here was just being able to uh, deal with the atmosphere and environment you get, you know, with the home games here and then a lot of the Europa League games. And I think that's, you know, what separates the top players and, and just the average ones. So, you know, just learning to be in, in big environments is, you know, been a big plus for me. Huge Yeah, I think anytime you're at a, at a club like this, there's going to be competition. And, you know, you look throughout the squad now and each position is, is two or three players deep. So um, I think it'll really, really help the squad in the long run. And, you know, for me personally, it's, you know, I enjoy a bit of competition. I, you know, I'm always going to back myself. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to, to the start of the year. James, do I actually um, obviously have good knowledge of you from spending six months at um, Set Football? Mm -hmm. So when you signed, was it obvious to you how much he knew um, about yourself in New York and your background? Yeah, I think he was definitely uh, you know aware of myself as a player, and you know having him as the coach here was one of the big draws for me because um, I knew kind of his style and, and how he wanted to play and. You know, for him coming in during the middle of the year, maybe he couldn't implement everything he wanted to. Um, but I think, you know, for the for the team, we've seen exactly how he wants to play during this preseason, and you know, I think it it suits me very well. Because also coming to European football, you know, not as a teamer, you just look at any American kids growing up. Do you mm -hmm. feel like in the six months you saw the experienced European football at this? It's foolish, but it, the yeah, I, you know, I think some of the games I was part of, um, you know, you won't find many bigger games, you know, wherever you look. Um, so, you know, it's been great for me as a young player, just being in this environment, you know, learning from the older guys on the team and, you know, just to keep developing. You said the manager has had this summer period to really put his ideas mm -hmm. across. Should people expect different Rangers or a bit of different Rangers this season from the one they saw over the last six months or so? Uh, I think, you know, he, you know, put down a lot of the basics when he first got here. Um, you know, the things that all good teams have, you know, discipline, hard work. Um, but I think probably you'll see some new, you know, tactical ideas and, you know, little variations. It, it won't be, you know, totally different, but you will see, I think, some, some nuances to how the team plays. Yeah, I'd never actually met him uh, before he got here. Um, you know, I think he's just switched recently to play for the U.S. Um, but I had 
you know, friends who were in camp with him recently, and you know, they all said he's a he's a good player and, and a very good person. So I'm uh, excited to have another American around. Uh, the, the two of you could hopefully taste that we played well together at just a club level, but an international level together as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you know both of us have ambitions to be in the World Cup team uh, in the fall. So you know, the only way we're going to get there is is getting games here. So. You know, I think to have someone next to you that, that shares similar goals is, is really helpful. Does it feel great just being able to you know, represent the US and have Malcolm alongside you at Club of Rangers? Yeah, uh, I think it, it's an honor. You know, Rangers signs you know, only the best players, so you know, for this club to have, to have two Americans says a lot about the growth of the sport in the US. Um, and you know, hopefully there'll be more in the future as well. James, <coughs> At the weekend, um, I just said you wanted to play the way you would play normally, even though it was mm-hmm. a high level side like Tottenham. What are the advantages of, of being brave in possession in a match like that, where the press is, is one of the best you've seen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's, you know, for preseason, it's all about, you know, developing and getting better, getting reps against, you know, quality opposition. Um, so I think what the, uh, what the boss was trying to say is, you know, if we can have confidence with the ball, you know, be brave against, you know, one of the best clubs in the world, then, you know, we should have no problem doing it against, you know, some of the league opposition or, you know, teams that maybe don't have the same quality. In terms of passing out from the back, it seems to have a real emphasis on this. Mm-hmm. We've seen Conor Goldstein have that responsibility. Yeah. It seems to manage just keep having it on both sides. Mm-hmm. And in the forward, is that a focus that's come through in the training? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, like I said, you know, there's definitely certain things that the boss has been emphasizing in, in preseason and, you know, building back, uh, building out of the back um, and keeping control of the ball has definitely been a big emphasis. So, you know, I think you'll uh, see the team start to do that a lot more. James, in terms of um, your first six months here, um, how much have you enjoyed that? And have you allowed yourself to try and think about winning a permanent move here? And is it something you would like to do? Uh, obviously, I, I would love it. Uh, it's a big club, and you know anybody would be lucky to play here. Um, always a little bit is is out of your hands. Um, you know I have to be performing and playing well to uh, you know earn that opportunity. But um, you know as I said, it's it's not in my control, and you know I'm just going to focus on on playing and, and doing my best. In terms of previous Americans that we've had here, we've had some big names, Carlos Bolton, etc. Did anyone reach out to you in terms of your move to Rangers and get off you any advice or yeah. any kind of um, just, yeah, any advice on what you should and shouldn't do? Etc.? Mm. Uh, well, when I was signing here, I spoke to Claudio Reyna quite a bit. Um, you know, very good friends with, you know, his son Gio. Um, so, you know, I've known him for a long time and he obviously told me about how special it is to play here and, uh, you know, he emphasized a lot the uh, pressure that is on the players but you know he said that in a good way um, so I spoke to him and then I got a nice message from Maurice Edu as well so um, definitely some Americans reaching out. You were successful in the MLS change before you mm-hmm. came here but have you noticed a sort of the mentality change the club was expected to win every single game is that taking a little time to get used to it at all and you sort of taking in your strength? Yeah, I think I've taken it in my stride more or less. You know, the the first day you step into the training grounds, you can kind of feel that uh, the way people train, the way they approach games. You know, there's no other option but to win, and you know that's obviously a little different from MLS, but you know it, it makes people better players, so it's it's definitely exciting. How have you found the change between Scottish football and uh, football in America as well? Has that been a big change for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know the. The league in MLS is is much stronger than than many people think, Um, and I think a lot of the teams compared to, you know, the league outside of Rangers and Celtic is, you know, pretty comparable. Um, You get a lot of South American influence in MLS, so some technical players. Uh, I still think that this league has more intensity to it, and the games are played at a faster pace. So it's, you know, it's good for me to, to see both kind of styles. James, um, you just mentioned the World Cup and mm-hmm. the squad. Um, you know, have you spoken to the coaching staff at the US team about whether they expect you to play in X amount of games for you to make the squad? Mm-hmm. And, you know, how much is that then filtering into your 
midfielder? Yeah, uh, I think you know part of my draw for the national team is being able to play both positions. You know, especially with a 26-man roster, I think they'll be looking for versatile players. Um, but when I've spoken to uh, the manager for the U.S. most recently, he just said, you know, I have to be playing um, more than I was in the spring to be considered for the team. And, you know, I think that's an achievable goal. So, you know, I just got my mind set on that. Yeah. Uh, also, if you qualify for the, the Champions League, you can the Champions League then unusual event having the World Cup yeah. in the middle of the season. I mean, that's the top level of mm -hmm. club and international football. You know, how does it feel to be, you know, plunged straight into that from MLS but also it's an honour for me and, you know, it's, it's why, you know, I put in all this work as a player and, you know, each day I go out and, you know, try my best is to be at competitions and tournaments like that. So, uh, you know, nothing is, is set yet, but hopefully I'll get to take part in both of those competitions. James, the motto of this club, when the badge is ready, do you feel that the squad, the new look squad, is 100% ready for the, the big kickoff now? I would say definitely. You know, we've had, you know, tough preseason matches, um, and I think ones where we've done quite well. So uh, we're really looking forward to the new season and, uh, you know, winning the league and, you know, making up for last year. A couple of players have gone for big money, but there's been big money signings coming in. Mm -hmm. Can you say whether you think this squad is stronger than the one that ended last season? Um, you know, it's hard to say. It's just, it's hard to compare players. You've obviously lost extremely talented guys like Calvin and, and Joe, but, um, you know, the players they've brought in are, you know, just as strong, but, you know, in different sorts of ways. So, you know, hard to say, but this team is definitely ready to compete on, on all fronts.